I got an RMR on my Glock. Can I be part of the cool club now? Hey guys, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense. So I finally went ahead and put a RMR here, put a red dot on my Glock 19, sent it into Battleworks and they did some fancy stuff to it and gave me cool serrations and bumped my rear sight forward and put an RMR on here. So I get to be part of the cool kids club now. So I went out and shot it for the first time uh, yesterday, last night. Sorry, I didn't get any cool range footage for you. But I just wanted to note a couple of observations here. Uh, the first one is, you know, the whole RMR and red dots on pistol things, it's starting to become a lot more common now. Uh, but there, there still isn't that much knowledge about it out there. And, and I just think that's kind of interesting. Uh, we've been shooting red dots on rifles for years. But when it comes to pistols, it's a little bit of a different game. And there there's still isn't that much data out there for it. So I'm I'm learning. I mean I'm like I said, I shot it for the first time yesterday. I probably shot, I don't know, hundred, maybe two hundred rounds through my pistol and just tried to get a feel for it and just tried to kind of figure out what this is all about here. So here are my observations. Uh one it is a game changer when it comes to distance. Uh, I shot the Valor Ridge pistol standards with it yesterday just to kind of get a feel for it and see how I did. And when it came to making those 25 and 50 yard shots, it is way different. I mean, I can, I can hit it 50 now. I feel like a golden god pretty much at will. Uh, it, it is a game changer for distance shooting. By that, I mean 25 and back with the pistol. Just, just changes the game. Makes it way, way easier. So that's one, that's a really, really big positive. Two, I've heard this thing where people talk about up close it's slower with a red dot. And I can understand what they mean about that now because I did have some trouble tracking the dot uh, through recoil and, and trying to hit my um, fire sequence. Like I, I can, right now, I could shoot an irons gun way faster than I could shoot a red dot when it comes to up close rapid fire type stuff. And I just think that's a training issue. I, I, I don't see how I won't be able to train through that. Uh, I trained through that on irons, right? So surely I can train through that on a red dot. The problem is just being able to track that dot as the slide moves. Uh, my finger, my trigger finger hasn't slowed, slowed down. It's obviously just the fact that I can't, I can't track the dot. I can't see my, see my sights through the recoil yet. So that's a little bit of a training issue and, and I'm just gonna have to shoot more to figure that out. Uh, the third thing, I, you know, initially when I borrowed a buddy's RMR or whatever and I would draw, right, I would always come up and I'd have to tilt the gun down to find the dot, right? Because I, I, I you're naturally, you're coming up and you're pointing like this, I'm exaggerating, but you're coming up here and then you're like, where is it? And you have to drop it to find the, find the dot. So one of the things as I started to do more dry fire and I was trying to get that sub-second draw, one of the things that I noticed, this is your free little tip here, is that I started taking my elbow and pinning it into my side when I drew um, to get the gun to come out more level. And since I've done that, I haven't had that problem with the RMR. That's something I was doing before the RMR when I was on iron sights just because I wanted to get the gun out faster. So I started dropping my elbow in to drive the gun out. And uh, since I've been doing that, I haven't had that problem now with the RMR. Like I draw it and the dot is, the dot is there. I'm not, I'm not trying to fish for the dot and look for it. Because I get that arm pinned and just drive the gun straight out, the dot is right where it should be. So that may or may not help you as you acquire a dot and pistol and you, you come out. I handed the gun to my wife just because I wanted to show it off. And I'm like, look at this cool thing, baby. And she's like, there's, there's no dot there. It's not there. I'm like, baby, it, it, it's right there. It's in the She's like, no, there's no dot. I can't see anything. And I'm like, okay, this is, this is the wrong discussion to have. So I understand how people can't find the dot or they can't see it right away. And I think that's honestly, it's something because your draw stroke is bad. You, you got to clean up your draw stroke. That's certainly what I had to do and which helped me not have to fish for that dot. Now I can draw the pistol and the dot's just there. So those are just some first observations I've had uh, shooting the, the red dot on a pistol. I think anybody who says, you know, you don't, you don't need, okay, you don't need it. I get that. You don't need it. But anyone who says, you know, it's not a good thing or you should just stick to irons or anything else, honestly, no offense, but I don't, I'm not convinced. I don't think you guys know what you're talking about. Uh, I, I think that it is a game changer. We put optics on guns because we can see better and it makes guns easier to shoot. We've been doing that with rifles again for, for I mean, almost hundreds of years, right? I mean, I, I don't know when the first scope was invented, but a long time. Uh, it's been a long, 
long time, at least 100 years, we've been putting some kind of optics on guns at points. So there's that. Why wouldn't we do that with a pistol, right? What, what, what is the downside there of doing that with a pistol? So again, I, I think the red dot on pistols in 25 years, that'll kind of be the norm. I don't see how it won't be. I was hesitant to get on board just because it costs a lot of money. But now that I'm here, I definitely think it's a game changer. And any perceived issues we have with the red dot, I think, and I would argue strongly, are a training issue. Now, granted, I've only been out with it once. Maybe I'll totally change my mind. But I just think it's a training issue. We just have to train through the problem to get to a place of proficiency with the red dot. And that's all it is. Because again, it is a game changer, particularly when it comes to distance shooting. Uh, makes that considerably easier. And I will take anything I can get to be a better shooter, right? Not that if you buy it, it'll all suddenly make you a better shooter, but it will help, it will help. That's really it. So those are my thoughts from my first time out with a red dot uh, on a pistol. I'm, I'm sure I'm gonna have some more. I'll try to drop some sweet knowledge bombs on you as I can. But uh, if you got any thoughts or you've shot, you've probably shot a red dot more than me if you've shot more than a couple hundred rounds through it. So if you got anything to educate me with, I'd love to hear it. Until then, do brave deeds and endure.